Computers are a part of everyday life, especially in these high-tech times. Our Molly Doherty helps us with what one group is doing to make sure everybody has access to a PC. While most people go home at night after a long day on the job, here at Cramden Institute, the work is just getting started. Volunteers come to fix up donated computers and get them working again. Mark Dibner is the organization's founder. They come because they have fun, because they're geeks. In 2003, Mark and his son Ned bought a motherboard on eBay. Dibner is a biologist, so he had no tech experience. But they managed to make a computer from scratch. Ned turned to me and said, this was a lot of fun, but um, there's a whole bunch of kids in my school who can't afford computers. How about, you know, we're about to start the summer. How about if we build a few more and we'll give it to them? Behind each of these computers is a story. Once they are refurbished, they'll be sent to a child who can't afford to buy their own, giving them the chance to keep up in school. And here are dozens of letters from those kids. This one's from Carmelo Cruz. Thanks for the computers. Now we can learn more and get good grades. This summer, Cramden brought their generosity to Elon Academy students. It's a program for academically gifted high school kids with financial difficulty. Darius Means is the director. I think that gives them one step to being one step closer to um, filling that gap, uh, that technology gap that exists in our society. And these days, it's so important to have a computer at home. I think it's critical. You can't live without it anymore. Ethan Glenn was lucky enough to grow up with a computer at home. He volunteers at Cramden now to give back to the community. Participating in society, you need to know how to use a computer, and having one at home is how you really get familiar with it. Cramden hopes to grant that familiarity, helping students to excel both in their schoolwork and in society. Molly Doherty, Phoenix 14 News, tonight.